Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to do a macro with now with controls in it. In other words, something that you can vary so sliders to, to change things. So let's start off. We do view studio and macro to bring up the macro panel. Control zero to recenter and turn on the record button. Now let's do a vignette. So I go to live filters and vignette. So it says add vignette layer there. Now I've got these to, to adjust. I'll turn the exposure down so I can see it. Change the, the scale and particularly the shape they go to get it roughly. It's an oval shaped. And turn down the hardness so it's the, more of a gradient for which then you've got to rescale it a bit and bring down the exposure a bit and so we just got a kind of a soft vignette effect on that image and that's okay so we're then going to just go stop the recording there because we're going to keep it simple because this is what we're looking at here there's a little cog wheel that says edit and if i click on that what comes up here is a panel that lets me change these so I can reset those exposure values for the vignette but more in particular I can make them visible so if I click on the little eye there and it goes white there it means this is going to be uh, shown so I can change that as name call that darkness hit enter to for it to be accepted um, for this one hardness let's call that softness or you can keep them as you will this one we'll call that size and let's call this one shape or uh, ovalness. So you can call them anything you want or leave them as they are. That's just fine. Now then, I can go back here and uh, what I'll do is I'll put this into the library. So add to library here, enter a name, call that soft, soft vignette. And the category, in other words, the folder you're putting it into, is let's use our playpen for that. Say OK. And now the library tab has come up. And in where it says playpen, you can see the soft vignette there. So now if I go to another image here, Control 0, and I click on soft vignette, it runs the macro, it puts it in, it also lets me control and change things again with those names that I gave before. So it sounds something different. And I can, for example, change the ovalness of this. So I'll make the that darker for the moment. What if I bring this up or down? Sometimes you have to wait for this to catch up because it's got to apply this. Yeah, that's just to fit that in. Sometimes you might have to fiddle around with all of these sometimes. So what about size? Bring that down a bit. But then bring up the ovalness. There you go. And then bring down the darkest bits. You can see I can play with all of these commands here. But if I've got it with how I normally use it, one click with it with this, maybe a little tweak, and it's done. So there you go. And if I click apply on this, notice it's not actually turned up here. Cancel here will throw away and not run the macro. But apply. And it is now there and it is done. So you now got a single click to soft vignette, but still got controls. Anyway, that's it. And thank you very much for watching.